Today we're going to make a front bevel out of two pieces of nine inches of inch and a quarter by half. And we're going to jump weld them together and make a front bevel. We're going to punch it to where it can accept the foot so it's going to be punched pretty coarse. And it's got a mass lock clip. And the mass lock clip makes it a little bit tricky because the outside is bumped up a bit. So if you try to make your mass lock clip and uh, to where you use the bump, your outside automatically gets shorter because you have an upset outside heel. So we're just going to get through the welding really quick and then we can treat it like a regular piece of bar stock. And I think that that, in the long and short of things, is the simplest thing because if you try to get fancy and bump the outside and bump your mass away right off, then you're going to be long on your medial side. So. We're going to get this together and then we're going to figure out what we're going to commit after our, our lateral bump and we'll commit to the mass away. All right, so we've, we've got the material for the bump for the scarf. Narrowed it up, and then now I'll just scarf it. You could do that with half the hammer blows with the sledgehammer, but we don't have a striker. That's my scarf. Why I brush it and do the other one. Bump the second one. Hold it up on end. And then scarf. All right, we've got that one. We've got the other one. They'll be laid across from each other just like that. That's how I'll pull them together. When we go into the fire, both scarfs are gonna go into the fire up. So then when we stuck them in there, when you grab onto them with the tongs, you grab onto the one in your right hand, if you're right-handed, in the line with the, with the piece of bar stock. You grab onto the left piece, if you're right-handed, at a right angle. So then when we come out of the fire, we're going to bring them out like this, set them like this, drop the one, and weld them. And that way, everything goes together, you don't have to think. And again, we'll reverse it. We come back. This is how they go in the fire. This is the simplest so that you can come out and do everything in a flow type of deal instead of wondering where everything is. And if you notice, my hammer is always hanging off the anvil to where I can grab the handle easy. That's where it's going to be sitting so I can grab it. As soon as I drop this tong, I come and I and I scarf, boom. Put them together, press down. And get this other side welded, there we go. Popped in there so it's nice and tidy. And we have it stuck together.
one piece. Now we're easy. We're rocking and rolling. Put our Iron Mountain on there. Again, you don't want to get it all sweaty because that Iron Mountain doesn't like it out of sweat. And we're back in. One more weld for good luck. At this point, I haven't committed to making a left or a right, inside or outside. So now I'm, I'm praying and hoping that I'm off a little bit. So if you get your ruler out, I'm at nine inches on this side. I'm at almost eight and a quarter. So this will become my medial side. That's important. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bump up this outside a little bit to give me that nice outside heel. All right, I'm going to upset the outside heel just so I can. And the reason I'm upsetting the outside heel first is because I don't know exactly where that nacelle is going to be. Like I said, I didn't pull it exactly in the center, but I'll have a better idea of where it exactly needs to be after I bump some material into the, the, the lateral heel. Just put a little bit of bump in there just to, so I got some fudge room to build that nice pretty outside heel. Alright, so now I mark, I got eight and a quarter to the outside heel and I got eight and three quarter to the medial heel. So I'm going to literally I'm gonna bump the, I'm gonna bump the mass a lot, and I'm gonna move the mass a lot this way with my hammer the entire time, so that I can bring my mass a lot to right about here. So I won't ever push it over with, and you can just roll it along the top edge. So we'll upset, we'll upset the the toe in it right now. So we have plenty of material for the mass a lot. All right, I'm gonna upset it. And then you just see how I'll just start pulling that mass away over a little bit.
You can see how it just jumps this side up and I'm just kind of squeezing this side down as I'm bumping. We got, we move that. We're eight and three eighths. And we're almost seven and three quarters. So now we have plenty of material for our mass of We can start building the shoe. All right, we'll make the heel. It's an upsetting motion. All right, we'll come up here on the horn and just kind of get that bevel started here at an angle. So we've got the heel. This is the outside edge. So I'm gonna come right in here with my round side of my hammer, start it there and then the bevel all the way through the branch. Get this stuff off of there. All right, this is the inside edge. So I'm gonna come flatten on this side. Flatten on that side. Crisping up this heel a little bit. Plenty of material. We'll go to go to the inside and make an inside heel. On this medial heel, we'll just grab the edge, come all the way down, grabbing the edge, and then go over the top. So we're gonna just grab this one corner right here, push down, and go all the way through. And then we'll come up on the horn, grab the toe a bit, and go all the way through. Then we grab this corner right here because you want to just have a little bit of something that ain't a sharp edge sticking out and come around. And then take and flatten on this side right here. That leans it over. We're getting that to bevel a little bit more. And then, then do the inside. Get it to lean and bevel a little bit more. Now all we got to do is make a shoe. With all the bumping, we've got about a 16 and a half inch piece of steel. We've got eight and a half on the outside. We've got eight on the inside.
All right, all my hammer blows are going to come up into the face. So, there we go. Wait till it's locked in, and then you got all that material. Plenty of material to make a big clip. Just go ahead and get you just a, a few taps behind the clip. Now what we'll do is we'll blend into the clip. Get a little bit of heat on it and blend both sides right up into the clip and we'll be set. All right, we're gonna blend. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep the shoe at the angle so it's laying flat on the horn at the bevel. Just kinda come right up into the toe. And then I'm gonna lean it the other way, coming into the horn flat on the horn and come right up come right up into the toe flatten it on both sides give you a nice crisp edge just gonna kind of get all this push I, a, I, I went kind of overkill on my bump into my toe, so I got plenty of material. Again, if you just come in here and flatten up to your clip, it makes a nice transition. You can see a little bit of my welding in the clip. run each branch and we'll be done with it. Then we got the shoe that measures. We got a little bit shy of eight inches on the foot surface, I mean the ground surface. We got a bevel, pretty tidy bevel. It, this shoe is completely off the hammer. We haven't rasped on it. Everything, uh, it, I'm sure it's not as nice as Ben's shoe. But uh, just trying to show you the basics of everything that goes in there. The mass lot, we've got a nice healthy clip on there. It's just a fun forging exercise. It needs to be punched. I think one of the mistakes I made in my shoe is I punched it a little too far up into the, the toe. Remember, when you have a bevel, you also have the, the exaggeration of the foot in the front. So if you get them nails up into the toe, they won't nail on. So, got a nice uh, clean shoe. Ready to be judged. The nails, we fit tidy in there, and uh, we're set to go. So, good luck, and uh, good luck with jump welding. Thank you, Ben, for letting me use all the drops, all my 9-inch drops. I'm going to use them up, so that'll be good.